got down 19 and 10 didn't give up. No, no, I, I told the kids, way to battle back. I mean, they battled all night and things didn't go our way. Uh, they run a defense where you can't run a lot of set offense or anything, so you have to just go out and improvise a little bit, but you do have to attack them. And we didn't attack at all in that first probably 10 minutes. And then uh, finally we started attacking a little bit that second quarter and, and cut into that lead. And you so guys trailed at the end of every quarter except the one that counts. Uh, just talk about how it feels uh, to be able to come back and put that away, especially on Bishop's last second basket. Well, you know, it's huge because that's what we talked about having to do. We have to attack and our posts have got to be ready for the bounce pass and the quick pass for the quick shot. And he got a few of those in the first half. He got a couple at the end when we needed them too. But, you know, the guys did a great job of attacking that seam and drawing the defense. Then you can find those other post players for easier shots. But we didn't do that so well the first eight, ten minutes. 35 seconds left. Was that a set boy from another timeout? It was. It was. Um, I, 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 want, I know Joe's going to create something. And he looked to go to the baseline. I had uh, Wyatt stepped up, slid up to the elbow, and Bishop got to the weak side block. Talk about the turnover with uh, 19 seconds left to go with uh, half court pressure, with turning to full court pressure. Carson's been a great defender for us all year, and we switched and put him on uh, number three. I can't remember his name, but a really good player, and he really slowed him down. He really kept him out of the lane more, uh, made him take some tougher shots. He's still a good player. He's going to make some points, but uh, he, he did a good job of putting pressure, and I could, I could tell he felt a little pressure there. And Carson just stayed with it. I thought Mason Garcia made a good play over here earlier, just right before that defensively to get a uh, recovery. And so, you know, the kids made good plays at the right time tonight. After the letdowns the last couple of games, do you think you guys can use this to spring off into the rest of your conference schedule? Oh, definitely. I mean, it's, it, it's something that you play against a decent team, a very, I thought, a very good offensive team, and they really crash the boards. And they, they play, you know, a, a kind of a scrambled 1-3-1 one, one defense against you, you have to play basketball. You can't just run unless you got guys you can alley-oop to and you can get some dunks, and we don't have that. But you've got to make some things happen against their defense, and, and tonight we just had to play basketball. We had to throw the playbook away and just say, let's let's play some basketball. And, and I think this will help us in the long run because there's times when uh, we didn't do that so well in, against Oak Ridge and, and North Muskegon. Against uh, against their offense, talk about how you guys uh, kind of had to deal with that four-corner stall that they ran all year and uh, just kind of taking their time in between right. shots the whole game. Right. They're, they're very deliberate in what they do, and, and they, they do a good job at it. He does a great job of coaching that into them. And they, they're looking for that backdoor cut or that, that cross off the, off the high post. And, you know, they're, they're very disciplined. And we had to be disciplined defensively to be able to stop that. And I felt we did a better job of that that second half. I, I, I really was pleased with how they communicated at, at times that second half. All right. Thanks, Coach.